Hey guys, I just wanted to show you real quick how I make my RODI water in school. Um, so first I have my BRS four stage RODI filter here. Um, I have a five gallon bucket and then a bigger bucket to put this bucket in when I inevitably forget that I left the filter running and it starts to overflow. Um, I have a lid that keeps stuff from falling in. It's pretty obvious. And then my, um, my three uh, RODI tubes um, and then I also use binder clips on the tubes and I'll show you how I use that in a couple seconds. All right so the first step is going to be hooking up my red input line. So this is what um, is going to be hooked up to the sink however you have your, um, your adapter so you hook that up in the sink, and then you plug that into the left input for the RODI. And I'll show these all up close. And then you take your blue, this is the good line. So this is um, all the water that is gonna be going into your um, reservoir. And you plug that to the blue tubes here. And then I'm gonna attach it to the input line. Then we have our black line which is the rejected water. So this is all the water that your um, RO filter is rejecting. And I'm gonna clip that to my input line as well. The way I hook my RODI filter up to the sink is with this adapter right here. And this actually came with my um, RODI filter from Bulk Resupply. And there's a little lever on the back you push down for it to go through the sink and pull back up for it to push water through the tube. All right, so before you start making actual water, you wanna flush your RO membrane for about five minutes before and after you use the RODI filter. So you do that by making sure the valve is in line with your rejection line and then turn on the water. You'll know if you have the valve in the right direction because the water is gonna be coming very fast out of the rejection line. And then you wanna make sure that you keep your blue um, good line out of your bucket because this water isn't necessarily completely filtered water yet. So while the RO membrane's flushing, I just wanna explain why I have these binder clips on um, these tubes. And it's because of how easy I can have them set here and know that they're not gonna fall out. I can't tell you um, how many times I used to just shove the rejection line down the drain and I'd walk away and I'd come back and it's just shooting water all over the floor. So these binder clips are a major, major key to making RODI, RODI water. RODI water without getting your water, your floor. Ugh. Binder clips are a major key for keeping your floors dry. All right, so now that your RO membrane's flushed, what you're gonna wanna do is turn the valve back so it's now perpendicular to the rejection line. And then now you can go ahead, move your good line with the binder clip, and now clip that to the side of your um, collection bucket. Cover it with a lid. And then I normally set a timer for about like an hour and a half to come check on it. Um, and that is usually about how long it takes to get a decent amount of water. And that's it. And don't forget to flush your RO membrane once you're done making the water too. Just let it run for five minutes. That's gonna help extend the life of your RODI filters. Thank you for watching. Um, I hope this helped you out. Have a great day.